Hello, welcome. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at how to find out the equation of to the altitudes of a triangle whose vertices are given to us. And we also know that the point of intersection or the point of concurrency of the altitudes is known as orthocenter. So once we get the equations of the altitudes, we can solve them either by elimination or substitution method and we can find out the orthocenter. So let's see how to find out the equation to the altitudes of the triangle. Now let's first try to draw the altitudes. Now we have drawn the altitudes CD, BE and also AF. So how to find out the equation of the altitudes? For that we will be leveraging the point slope form. We will be leveraging the equation of the straight line of point slope form which is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So if you know the slope, you know a point, then you can leverage this form of equation y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. Now how we will leverage this is, suppose let us say that we want altitude from A to on to BC. We have points B and C, we know their coordinates, so you can find out the slope of BC. Once you know the slope of BC, you know that the altitude AF is perpendicular to BC, so the slope of AC, AF, not AC, the slope of AF should be reciprocal of what is BC and multiplied by minus 1. So you know the slope of AF now and it has to pass through A, that's nothing but 2 comma minus 2. So leveraging this, we can find out AF, BE and CD equations. First what we will do, step 1, we will try to find out the slopes of the sides of the triangle that is AB, BC, CA so that we can find out the slopes of the altitudes. So let's go ahead and first try to find out the slopes of AB, BC, CA. M of AB that is nothing but slope of AB equal to 0 0 minus of minus 2 divided by minus 1 minus 2 that is nothing but equal to 2 by 3 minus so minus 2 by 3 is the slope of m of ab similarly slope of bc that is m of bc is nothing but equal to 1 minus 0 by 1 minus of minus 1 that's equal to 1 by 2. Also slope of CA m of CA is nothing but equal to 1 minus of minus 2. What's the formula we are using? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. 1 minus of minus 2 by 1 minus 2 that is nothing but equal to minus 3. Now once we know the slopes of A, B, B, C, C, A, we can find out the slopes of A, B. For A, B, the altitude of A, B is C, D. So M of C, D which is perpendicular to A, B is nothing but reverse of the slope of A, B and multiplied with minus so it will becomes 3 by 2 similarly bc is the side and the altitude perpen opposite to that altitude on bc from a is nothing but af so m of af is nothing but equal to minus 2 similarly what is left out ca ca the altitude is be so m of be is nothing but equal to 1 by 3. So we got the slopes of the altitudes. Now what we have to do is we have to frame the equation for them. We know that CD 
altitude has to pass through C and we know the point coordinates of C. So, I can say equation of CD is equal to y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So, y minus CD y minus 1 equal to slope of CD is 3 by 2 into x minus x1 that is nothing but x minus 1. If you simplify that 2y minus 2 equal to 3x minus 3 that will give you 3x minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. Now, similarly let us try to find out the slope of let us try to find out the equation of AF. Equation of AF equal to y minus y1 what is the coordinates of a? a is 2 minus 2. So, that is nothing but y minus of minus 2 equal to a f slope is minus 2 into passing through x coordinate is 2, 2 minus 2. So, that is 2 minus 2 into x minus 2. This is nothing but y plus 2 equal to minus 2 x plus 4. Simplification we will have 2 x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. That is the equation of a f. Now, what is left out? Equation of equation of C D is done, A F is done. So, what else we have left out? B E. So, let us do B E. Equation of B E y minus y1. B is nothing but minus 1 0, minus 1 comma 0 is coordinates of b. So, I will have y minus 0 equal to 1 by 3 into x minus of minus 1 that is x plus 1. So, that gives me 3y equal to x plus 1 or x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. Now, these are the three equations of the altitudes of the triangle. Now, you want to find out the orthocenter. You can see that the point of concurrency of the altitudes is nothing but orthocenter. You can take any one of these, any two of these three equations and you can solve them and see if you try to solve them, are you getting the orthocenter as 5 by 7 with x coordinate and y coordinate as 4 by 7. Check it out. How can you do that? You can take any two of these three equations, solve them for x and y, substitute in the third equation for verification and that value, whatever you get, should be 5 by 7 comma 4 by 7. Now, just before wrapping up, let us try to understand how we got the point slope form and we will wrap this up finding out the equations of altitu altitudes of a triangle. It is very simple. You know the sides of the triangle. Altitude is nothing but a line segment joining a vertex to the opposite side and it is also perpendicular to the opposite side. So, suppose you take BC, its perpendicular is AF and it is passing through A. So, the altitude is AF. You know the slope of BC. Find out the slope of AF you have the line has to pass through A. So, you know point, you know slope, you can use point slope form. So, let us see now how point slope form formula we have arrived or derived. Let us look at that. Just we will spend couple of minutes. Just couple of minutes on how we got y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. As I said earlier and I have repeated so many times when we have gone through coordinate geometry playlist that the whole straight lines is depending on equating the slope. So, you have a straight line 
on which there is a point x1 comma y1 and you know the slope of the line that's nothing but equal to m and you can take arbitrary point x comma y now the slope is nothing but equal to delta y by delta x or change in y by change in x that's nothing but y minus y1 by x minus x1 so that gives you y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this form is called as point slope form because you are using a point and you know the slope to frame the equation of the straight line so see you in the next session where we will look into how to find out the equation of a perpendicular bisector of a line segment or right bisector thanks again see you again bye for now